Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be cleaning my apartment and later I'm gonna share a grocery haul with you and I'm also going to be doing a little cooking. My apartment is a total disaster right now because we just got our new kittens. So I've been slacking in the cleaning department and it's just kind of messy because I've been trying to make everything comfortable for everybody here while we're going through this new kitten transition. So I have the cat tent out and then the little orange thing, scratchers, toys, and blankets everywhere, and it's just a mess. I also have Kiki and Cookie's litter box out in the living room. It's usually in the bathroom, but I put a smaller one in the bathroom for cannoli so we could put her away at night. I've been keeping her in the bathroom at night just because she's so small. She's only seven weeks old, so she's literally just a baby. And I'm kind of scared of letting her just roam the apartment at night because I don't know what she could possibly get into out here. So at night, I've just been putting her in the bathroom and putting her little carrier in there with some blankets and her litter box and some food and water. So I'm going to start off by cleaning the bathroom. I'm just sweeping the floor because there's some cat food and some cat litter these cats have been really messy lately so I'm just sweeping that up and then I'm gonna be pushing it up into my IVAC which you will see in a minute So normally I would just vacuum everything up because I am not a fan of sweeping which is why you never see me sweeping my floors but I do sweep in the bathroom where we keep the litter box just because I feel like it's easier to sweep up the litter and just sweep it into my IVAC rather than vacuuming it and I really don't want to vacuum the litter up anyway. But if you are the type that sweeps a lot, you would love the iVac because it's a motion sensor vacuum and all you have to do is push whatever it is you're sweeping right in front of it and it literally sucks it right up. If you hear any random noises in the background, that is the cats playing. They are going wild and they're actually kind of distracting right now. So this is what I'm going to be using to mop my floors and wipe my countertops off with. This is the Clorox Fragancia Morning Sky and I'm just mixing it with some water in my spray bottle. I ran out of the little cleaner that you're supposed to put in the mop so I'm just going to be using this. And also I'm using my Swiffer in the bathroom and then I'm going to be using my other mop for the rest of the apartment. So I'm not going to be doing like a detailed deep cleaning today. I'm just going to be doing some basic cleaning because like I said, I've been slacking when it comes to cleaning and this place is just messy. I got a new bag of litter so I'm just filling up the litter box and what's really funny is I swept the floor and then I mopped it and I didn't realize that the cats had torn a hole in the bag of litter so some of it ended up 
falling on the floor and even on the bathroom countertop, which was really annoying. So I'm going to be using that same cleaner mixture that I put in the bottle in my bathtub also and I'm wiping it with a rag first and then I'm going to go in with my little scrubber that actually has a little bit of Dawn dish soap in it and some other all-purpose cleaner in it already but I'm going to be using that to scrub the tub as well. So now I'm going to be straightening up the couch. I have like lots of stuff on there right now because at night I've just been relaxing on the couch with all the cats, trying to make them all comfortable and trying to get Kiki mainly used to cannoli being around. So I'm just trying to make it a peaceful, relaxing place for everyone. But every night I end up having like water bottles and different things on the couch, so I'm getting rid of all of the garbage off of the couch and just straightening up the blankets now.
So I am sweeping the floor a little bit out here only because like I said I put Kiki and Cookie's litter box out here so they kind of got some of the litter on the floor so I'm just trying to sweep that up into my eye back. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on to my kitchen. I'm just getting rid of all of the garbage that is laying around and picking up some other clutter that's on the countertops and then I'm just going to wipe them down. I'm also going to be unloading the dishwasher and reloading it.
So now I'm gonna go ahead and clean out my purse really quick, which I know is random, but I figured while I'm cleaning everything else, I might as well do this too. I don't know about you, but my purse is filled with the most random things. So this is a Christmas card that my mother-in-law sent us and I hadn't taken it out of my purse yet. So yeah, I'm gonna take it out and put it up on my bookshelf. And now I'm just pulling out some receipts and there's a bandana, there's a water bottle, there's a comb, there's a hair roller. You guys can just call me Mary Poppins from now on because that's what this purse is looking like. I've got medicines in there, two different kinds of perfumes. God only knows what else. But I did want to show you these wipes really quick. I got them complimentary from Octoly. When I seen them, I just signed up for them because I was like, you know what? I need some hand wipes to carry around with me while I'm out in public. So I put an order in for them and yeah. So like I said, I got these wipes complimentary for a review just for testing purposes. So the brand name of these is Doc Hygiene and they are sanitizing wipes and it comes in a pack of 10. They retail for $3.99 and these are really nice because they're not sticky and they don't really have any scent to them either and they are extra strength. They also have aloe and vitamin E in them so they keep your hands soft. They eliminate 99.9% .9 of germs. So now I am laying out all of my receipts so that I can scan them into my Fetch app. I've told you guys about the Fetch app before. I don't know if you guys signed up or not, but you totally should. I'll have a link down in the description so you can check it out and use my code to sign up. Every time you scan a receipt, they give you points and certain items that you buy, like you'll see in a little bit, I got like a thousand points for buying Cottonelle toilet paper. So you get points and these points add up, which you can use towards getting gift cards and it totally works. I've done it several times already. Um, they have different gift cards you can choose from, but I always choose the Amazon ones because I buy a lot from Amazon, but yeah. So you just scan your receipts into the app, you get points that you can use towards getting gift cards so it's like free money and then you can trash your receipts because it stores all of them in there for you it's a pretty good deal Okay, so I wanted to share a quick grocery haul with y'all. So, a couple of these things we got from Walmart. Um, most of this is HEB and then some Kroger items. So, I'm gonna start over here. I got some toilet paper. Um, got some vegetable oil. I'm gonna be making a steak in my cast iron skillet, which I've never done before. My mom got me a cast iron skillet for Christmas, which I will probably show you. Um, and I wanted to try to make a steak in it. Um, I got some butter, some oats because we've been eating cinnamon apple baked oatmeal that I've actually been making in my air fryer using the bake option. It's lovely. I also picked up some of this sugar and cinnamon mixture to put in the oatmeal. I got some orange juice, lactose free milk, a bag of Caesar salad, got some cinnamon candies, fireball candies, and then these butterscotch. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of this, but my grandmother taught me this. You should try it. So Alan refuses to try this because he doesn't think it would be good, but I'm telling you right now from years of experience, 
If you eat these two together, it's absolutely delicious. You have to try it. You get a cinnamon disc and a butterscotch one. Eat them together. It's the bomb.com. Like I said, my grandmother taught me that. Anyways, so I got some broccoli, some apples for the oatmeal, got some eggs, some green onion, a red onion, white onion, some zucchini, some lemons, a pasta kit, some bread. So this was near the Jesus bread, but this was like a dollar cheaper. I was like, well, it's kind of similar, so I'll go ahead and try it. So these are from Kroger. I got some peanut butter, got some cod, some salmon, and three bags of the white cheddar popcorn Kroger brand. Alan loves it, says it's the best. So yeah, that's my little grocery haul here. If you wanna see how I make the oatmeal, I'll post a link. I actually did a video for that. Anyway, thanks for watching, y'all. Thanks for watching my little grocery haul. Ooh, now I have to put it all away. Okay, so now it is time to make dinner. And I'm just throwing a salad together really quick. I'm cutting up some tomatoes. I already got my lettuce washed and ready to go. And I'm also gonna be cutting up a red onion and making my own salad dressing. This dressing is really easy to make and it's super healthy. So all you need is olive oil and a vinegar. So I'm gonna be using balsamic vinegar, but you can use regular white vinegar or red wine vinegar. And you just put the olive oil on there, put your vinegar, put your seasonings like salt and pepper, garlic powder and onion powder, mix it and then you can taste it and see if you like the taste of it. If not, you can add more of whatever else you think needs to go in there. So it's all according to your own taste. So I am going to start cooking my steak now. I put a little bit of vegetable oil in my cast iron skillet that my mom got me for Christmas. I actually wanted one of these. I didn't own one yet, so my mom got it for me and she gave it to me early. But I'm adding a little butter in there. I've already seasoned my steak with garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. And right now I'm pouring my little small shells into the boiling water because I'm also gonna be making some garlic butter noodles but anyway this is my first time ever cooking a steak in a cast iron skillet and I'm so happy that it turned out so good so I had tried to make a steak before like years ago just in a regular pan and it didn't turn out that great so I was kind of nervous about this but I followed some instructions from a guy I watched in a video and I'm glad I did because this steak turned out amazing. So for the garlic butter noodles, I am just adding a little bit of olive oil, some garlic powder, salt and pepper, some lemon juice, some butter, and some Parmesan cheese. This is it, it is officially done, and yeah, it was so good. I was so proud of myself. And now I have to clean up the big mess that I made. You're not gonna be seeing like the full video of me cleaning the kitchen because my camera kept running out of memory and that wasn't fun, so I just gave up and uh, finished cleaning the kitchen off camera.
But anyway, this is the end of the video. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give this video a like and leave me some comments down below because as always, I would love to hear from you. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.